Hi, my name's Stephanie and welcome to another reusable eco-friendly sewing tutorial. So this time we're going to be making bread bags. Now this is something that I've wanted to make for a while but I've just put off on my list of I would like to makes. Just because I had other projects going on and we were still at the time buying bread from the store. So this is not something that was high on my priority list to make. As time has passed, this is something that I would really like to make. So today's the day. Here's what you're going to need. Two pieces of linen, approximately 21 by 13 inches, some pins, thread, a ruler, a pair of scissors or a rotary cutter, and some string. Depending on the size loaf you make at home, this will determine the size of the bag, but on average this is about the right size for a standard loaf. So we're looking at about 21 inches by 13 inches. It may sound large, but we have to take into consideration here we're going to be doing a finished seam on the outside, right? So we have to have our seam allowance here as well. I'm going to start because this is linen. I'm going to start and I'm going to serge all the way around my pieces. Now you can choose to zigzag if you don't have a serger, but I would suggest just doing that to finish your edges so that it doesn't fray. Now for this, I'm not worried about my corners being sloppy because we are going to be boxing our corners afterwards. So I'm going to line these back up. So we're just going to pin this all the way around. And then we're going to sew along the three edges again. Now I'm going to use the salvage end as my bottom. There we go. So I'm going to stitch around these three sides. I'm going to leave this nice finished side for my top seam. Now we can move on to boxing our corners. So we're going to open it up. And we're going to try and line up our bottom seam with our side seam. This can get a little tricky, so it does take a little bit of like time to play and to pull and to flatten and all of the above, but definitely not impossible. So here what we're going to do is we're going to fold this corner up to the middle so you'll be able to feel like where all four layers meet and you're going to fold it up to there. And with a fabric marker or a pencil, you're just going to mark, so I go like inside this little fold over and I just mark where I folded it up to. I'm going to do the same thing with the top. This will give you a really great view to be able to see where your line needs to be. So we're going to want to now take it back to the sewing machine and just sew directly on this line. Now I'm going to pin it a little bit just so it doesn't slide while I take it over to the machine. Now if you were creating this kind of box pleat for a formal bag or a tote of some sort, I would say flatten out these seams and get it looking really good. Because this is just a reusable bag for bread at home to keep us on the eco-friendly track, it doesn't need to be perfect. So this could also be a great little beginner sewing project for kids as there's mostly straight lines and you can help them with the pleating at this part. Because after that our bag is pretty much finished. Take it over to the sewing machine, sew down these two lines. 
So while I was th at the machines, I did serge my two edges. So if you don't have a serger, give yourself a good half inch seam allowance and then zigzag these edges really well so that they don't end up fraying on you. I'm just going to tuck in my threads and then we can move on to our second last step. We are going to want to finish off this top edge. So I'm going to use my good old fashioned hack that I love. So we're going to want about a three quarter inch fold over here. So we're going to want to double that. So we're looking at about an inch and a half is where we want to draw our line. And then we're going to do it again on the other side. When we take this over to our sewing machine or to our iron, we're just going to fold this down to our line. And we know that we have three quarter inch fold over. Saves us having to use the, the hemming ruler and all that stuff. So this is quick and easy. Match it to the line. Give it a press. Once you've got it ironed over, just take it over to the sewing machine and stitch about a quarter of an inch from the open end. So we do still want a way to tie this closed. So the easiest way is just to get a piece of string, an old shoelace, something of that nature. And we will just zigzag it onto one of the seams. And it's as simple as just tying a knot in each side so that it won't fray. Obviously, if you have a shoelace, that's not going to happen unless it's an old one. So I try and find the middle as much as possible. And then about two inches down. We're just going to zigzag across here, back and forth a few times. So I do like attaching this just to this side seam. It does give you a little extra strength because of the extra layers on the back. So once you've got your loaf of bread in there, all you have to do is bring your string around and tie it up. So there's a quick, easy project complete. Now this project was super simple. It's something that you can make on your own if you're a beginner. It's something that you can make if you're an advanced sewist as well. It's also something that you can have your children make with you if they are wanting to learn to sew. So as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for notifications of new videos when they come out. If you've liked this video and want to see more, please don't be shy to leave me a comment. Thanks for sewing with me.